Every Monday morning, we check in with Vail Mountain Rescue and learn about their latest missions. Today, we have Sean McGinley join us. He's part of the team, and he's going to let us know how the week was. What's been going on since we last checked in with you? Well, it was kind of a light week. I really just had one page come in last night. Uh, there was a woman up on uh, Tiguan Road that had an injured back. Um, I think it was related to snowmobiling. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't on the mission, but I spoke to the coordinator last night. So we sent a team in with some snowmobiles and a, a trailer that goes behind one of the snowmobiles. We also brought a paramedic who uh, joined the team. Uh, we went up and, and got her into the sled. The paramedic tended to her. We pulled her out and um, ultimately got her to the hospital to okay. get checked up on. So. Okay. There is, uh, you know, sometimes we have weeks like that. Other weeks we have a couple, two, three missions going on. So okay. that, that was fine. Now, was she alone yeah. or was she riding the stone build with others? She was with a guiding company. Okay. So, um, you know, depending on the conditions, snowmobiling can be rough on you, especially if you're re-injuring something. Um, I think in this case, they were on some hard washboard road or something and, yeah. and she re-injured herself. Okay. Okay, but you know, we, we always say, don't do things alone. Um, make sure you have uh, enough supplies to stay overnight if you have to. Of course, yeah, in, in the, the backcountry. And you know, conditions right now are pretty favorable. Uh, when you look on the, on the Avalanche website uh, that the state has, um, there, it's a low hazard rating across much of the mm -hmm. state and in this county right now. That can change, of course, with a wind event or, or snow. But right now, it's, it's pretty favorable conditions. Um, but of course, yeah, never travel alone. Let people know where you're going and, and of course have the, yeah. the backcountry gear, probe, shovel, and, and beacon. And I think what's interesting too is uh, during the day, it's been so nice. People kind of get lulled into this like, oh, I don't need a very warm jacket, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But once the sun goes down, it changes. Things, things change, yeah. And you could get wet, you know, you could fall into a tree well. Um, yeah, things can change real quick. And especially when the sun goes down, it does get pretty cold. Okay. So you should be prepared to, to spend some time there. <clears throat> and you guys are getting prepared. I know you have some uh, testing coming up this spring. Tell us about Belmont Rescue, <clears throat> what you guys are doing training-wise. Well, we, we're going to have an intense um, eight or nine weeks here ahead of us of training. We have a reaccreditation coming up at the end of April. Um, it occurs every five years, and it's kind of a test among the peers. So teams come in from around the state, and they put on five mock scenarios for us. And it's, a, it's a pass or fail system, so we'll be tested on uh, a search scenario what's called a high angle on the side of a cliff, a low angle, um, an avalanche scenario, and what's called a winter technical. Wow. Um, and so they, it's over two days, yeah. and they grade us on how we interview our, uh, reporting parties, um, how we communicate amongst ourselves, organize our team, set up the staging area, how quick we are with things, uh, our technical skill set. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty intense, but we're, we're focused on it. And, we're going to be uh, training for that the next, uh, like I said, eight or nine weeks. Yeah, it was probably very exciting. And, you know, plus you all want to do well. But this is so interesting about this group. The Vail Mountain Rescue Group is an all-volunteer run organization. Mm -hmm. So uh, all the time that you're putting into it is in addition to your day job, your families, yep, the rest yep, of your Yep, everyone's life. got day jobs and other things they're doing. So we're on, but we are on call 24-7, mm -hmm. 365. But, uh, yeah, it's all volunteer. And um, we have a great core group of, of folks that, that participate uh, whenever they can. And what's interesting, there's no charge if you come and get us and rescue us and get us a... No charge from us. No charge no. from them. So, hey, we're going to find out more about that and find out about the endowment fund that you guys are raising. You're going to stick around and talk about the friends of Vail Mountain Rescue. That's right. Perfect. Okay, Sean McGinley, he's going to stick around and let us know more. But if you want to learn more for now, you can go to vailmountrescue.org. We're going to take it over to Mark Sassy. We have a change in the weather. We're going to let you know if there's any snow in the forecast.